Welcome back to my channel, Dana Cole here. Happy New Year! It is a new year upon us. Um, I hope for a good, successful year for all of you guys this year. And to hopefully help you out with that, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made $25,000 in passive income last year and how you can too. So let's just get into this video. <music> asking yourself what is passive income and am I already making passive income so for those of you who do not know what passive income is it is income that requires little to no maintenance to min to maintain and to earn so some of you guys are probably already making some passive income but I just want to show you guys a few more ways that you could be making it if you're not already implementing these uh, particular things I'm going to tell you So we are going to start with number one, which is putting your images that you have already photographed on stock websites. Now stock websites are places where you can put people, landscape, product, food, whatever the case may be on your images on these websites and companies or blogs, etc. people will purchase it uh, for a specific price depending on the stock agency and then you will get a commission from that. Some of the popular stock websites are like Getty, Adobe Stock, Alamy, 500 Picks, Stocksy, um, Shutterstock, and there's quite a few other ones. There is also, if you photograph a lot of people of color, there is POC for people of color stock, POC stock, um, and that is a good one for people of color. Now, please note, some stock agencies will pay photographers more. The commission uh, for the photographers is more, and some pay pennies. Um, so I would avoid ones like Shutterstock. They don't charge people um, a lot to use your images, so the commission you get is going to be very, very little. Uh, definitely be sure to read the terms and agreements on the stock sites, what commission you are going to be getting, how much they actually sell images to other people, and then base your decision on that. I would recommend that you post your images on the stock sites that's going to give you the most money um, in commission because that's, that's why we're making passive income to make more money. So number two is going to be selling your artwork to third parties. When I say third parties, I mean to people to post up on their walls of your artwork, um, putting it in a hotel, a salon, etc. Someone who really enjoyed your work and want to put it on their walls, which is awesome and exciting. Um, now there are a few different ways you can do this, of course, and market it. For example, if you want to handle everything from marketing to what type of print paper it's going to be on to if you're going to sign it, etc., you can do this on your own website, like your own actual photography website or like a Shopify store or even a site like Etsy. These things you have full control over pricing, paper, etc., all of that. But you also have to um, handle both a majority and a bulk of the marketing to get eyes on your particular artwork. Now the second option is if you wanted to place your artwork on a website like Satchi Art or Artsy.net where there are a lot of other different types of artists, painters, sculptors, etc. Uh, but these sites are seen more, they get more eye traffic due to um, their popularity and all of the artists on there, you can do this as well. Um, here you can also price your artwork basically as high as you want it to go, of course, within reason. And you can do limited prints, you can sign it, etc. So this still gives you a lot of leeway, like if you were to host it on your own website, which you actually should do both, hosting it on your own website um, or something like Etsy, as well as on a site like Satchi Art or Artsy. It just gets more eyes on your artwork. And the last option when it comes to selling your artwork, you can put it on a site like Fine Art America, Redbubble, Society6, these type of sites where you can either sell wall prints or you can sell things like coffee mugs or 
curtains or pillows, whatever the case may be with your artwork on it. Now I find with these sites you can't go really high on the pricing. These are usually somewhere between um, like $60 up to I think the highest I've seen maybe $400. So if you're in that range where you're just wanting to sell your prints at a lower cost, um, they're not necessarily fine art with limited editions, etc. Um, then you can go to sites like this and people can um, put your art on many different types of things if you want to do it that way. Um, that's very cool. So, you know, not everyone is trying to sell their art for thousands upon thousands of dollars. Some people are fine with people buying a poster of it uh, for the $100. So this is another option of ways you can post up your artwork and sell it. All right. So number three is going to be using affiliate links and signing up for partnership programs with websites that offer affiliate partnerships. Now this was um, a big uh, one for me last year, brought in a nice chunk of change. I did not do it all last year. I didn't start it until around June, July. Um, so if I started it earlier, I most probably would have made a little bit more than I did from it, but I am not upset with what I made from it. So it's all good. So when you sign up for a partnership program or affiliate partnership program with a website, let's say like Amazon, Amazon is a huge one and most other websites online that have, um, that are large websites that have a lot of um, purchases, sales through them, they have affiliate partnerships. Now, when you sign up for these things and you get a little link um, to products, etc., that you can then post anywhere online, either your Instagram, if you blog, um, if you have YouTube, of course, like when you look down in the description panel, you will see products that I use and they have links next to them. Now, if someone goes and clicks that link and they purchase that product, um, then I get a little percentage back from that. Depending on the um, partnership program and the website, uh, percentages can range differently. Um, and of course, you know, it versus if someone buys, let's say, a $5,000 camera with your link versus, you know, a $10 t-shirt or $10 lipstick, whatever the case may be. Use your links, you guys. Um, it all adds up monthly and of course yearly when you start trickling in these little uh, percentages from each sale. So if you are not utilizing affiliate links, you should be, okay? So number four is going to be selling presets, actions, LUTs, and things like that. So as photographers, a lot of us use Lightroom or Capture One and Photoshop and all of these programs to do our retouching, editing, etc. And some of us have actually made specific actions or specific presets or specific LUTs to speed up our workflow. Now, you might just have that for you, but someone else might actually want that and they might purchase it from you. So me personally, this is something I do. I do sell actions right now for me. I only have two actions available that I do sell. I will link them here. <laughs> so if you have an action or preset or LUT that you made and it's pretty cool and you think other photographers would benefit from it, you know, put it in a zip file, include an instructional video on how to run it and how to use it and you can sell that and people will purchase it. So number five is going to be teaching courses, online courses, things that are pre-recorded um, that you did sell on your website or some teaching website. Uh, so for me, this was, I think, the one that made me the most money last year in uh, passive income uh, were pre-recorded courses or webinars that I did about something photography related or um, headpiece related. So if you have something that you can teach other photographers or creatives, uh, you know, retouching, photography, business side of being a creative, whatever the case may be, um, this is something you can, you know, pre-record, sit down, discuss, um, show in detail, etc. And then you can put this on your website or like I said, another teaching website and you can sell this uh, to creatives, photographers who want to learn from you. So this is a good way to make passive income 
like I said, it was the one that made me the most last year. So definitely do this if you have something of value uh, to other photographers. So number six is going to be renting out things you own. Okay, so that can be your studio, um, that can be your wardrobe collection, that could be things like headpieces, etc. So if you have a studio and you don't always use it or you are could be in the office area and the shooting area is just empty, you can rent out your studio if you're allowed to, of course, if you don't own it, but you lease. You can rent out your studio to other photographers um, or creatives or if they need your office area and you're in the shooting area, etc like a cool um, wardrobe of like gowns, dresses, I don't know, cool looking pieces, etc. that other photographers would be keen on renting. You can rent all of this stuff out depending on the price. Of course, it's up to you and how you want to price this. Uh, but yes, this is a good passive income stream. Okay, you guys, so number seven, is going to be become a YouTuber. <laughs> so I am a YouTuber and I am a monetized YouTuber. Actually, I should say become a monetized YouTuber. So to become monetized on YouTube, uh, you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. Um, now, depending on how often you post your videos and how eager you really want to be monetized, um, this can happen quickly or this can take a while. For me, it took six months. Um, I try to post a video uh, once every week or two to three times a month and so that helped me and then of course I shared videos all over on my other social media so people would look and uh, so people would subscribe and people would view my videos so thankfully it only took me about six months to get monetized so from there I started making money doing YouTube videos uh, through ads etc now you can also make money other ways um, via YouTube. So there is the AdSense that you get when people watch your videos and it's more so when they watch the ads. Um, and then of course you can get brand sponsor deals um, with brands and um, who will pay you to maybe mention their um, brand, etc., in a video. Um, so that is also good as well. But definitely, yes, becoming a YouTuber and get, getting monetized is a cool thing. Number eight is going to be selling merchandise. And this is really good if you have like a YouTube channel. Um, it makes it a bit easier to sell merch. So, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you guys might follow YouTubers who sell merchandise, whether it's mugs, t-shirts, uh, whatever the case may be. Wherever you have a following and you're making cool stuff that can go on a t-shirt, that can go on a mug, that can go on a mouse pad, etc., and you use a site like Printify or um, any of the other print-on-demand type of um, Society6, Redbubble, um, also that I mentioned uh, when you want to sell your artwork. You can also put uh, your your designs on these websites as well and you can sell them to other people in, like I said, a t-shirt form, whatever the case may be. This is a great way to make some passive income and you're selling stuff, people are wearing your stuff, people are using your stuff and it's fun. So if you have any cool idea for merchandise, use it make it sell it the last one for the day is going to be number nine licensing images and royalties so let's just say you did a shoot uh, you know for your Instagram for your portfolio and you used a certain company's product and when you posted this you tagged the company um, and they saw it and they liked the images so they contact you and say, hey, how much can we use um, this? Can we use this image and for how much? So this is where you can drum up a licensing uh, deal with this particular uh, company on them using your images for a certain amount of time and a certain amount of money. Now, I'm not going to get too much into licensing images and all of that because that's a, a different topic and it's, that's a whole different long discussion. But if you are unfamiliar uh, with licensing usage of your images, 
and you would need help on something like that uh, as far as bidding and how much you should charge uh, there are sites like wonderful machine or you can actually contact like a photographer agent who can help you with this particular with this one time uh, bidding process now they will charge about 20 percent 15 20 percent uh, to help you with this but if you are inexperienced that's the best way to go especially if it's a larger company uh, who might have a deeper pockets uh, that 20% will pay for itself uh, because they will help you get a, a good deal versus you inexperienced just naming off a small amount when you could have gotten larger um, so keep that in mind if this ever happens to you but yes um, usage they pay a price to use your image for a certain amount of time now after that time is up if they want to use the image more then of course you can renegotiate the contract and get more money and again this is you know steam stemmed from something that you just wanted to photograph for your portfolio and now a company is paying you for it so that's a win-win for you and that's awesome um, and even if this is a commercial job you actually did for this particular company after the initial licensing of the images is up again if they want to use it further you renegotiate on the contract um, and more usage and this is more money royalties in your pocket bank account for you uh, little to no effort as the shoot has already been done and this is just an added bonus from that so licensing images royalties is a great way to make some passive income you guys um, and it's a good way that i made some last year So that's it you guys on the ways that I made passive income last year. So let's just do a breakdown uh, and go by category on how much I made in each category and then do a final total, okay? Selling two stock websites came to a to whopping total of $6. Selling artwork came to $675. Partnership programs affiliate links, $3,565. Selling presets, actions, and LUTs came to $1,500. Teaching pre-recorded online courses, $13,480. Rentals, studio, wardrobe, etc., $2,500. Licensing images, $4,660. Being a YouTuber came to $490. And YouTube merch, selling merch, I did not do, so that was $0. So that comes to a total of 26876 $6 that I made last year in passive income alone. And that, it, you guys, is very, very awesome. This year, I plan to do more. I want to focus a little bit more on some of the ones that I did not hit last year and go a little bit harder on some that I did hit last year um, to hopefully double that this year. And so we'll see if I do it. <laughs> I would love to hear how you guys made some passive income last year. Did you implement any of these or did you do something different that makes you other forms of passive income? Definitely leave a comment below. Um, if I did not mention a way that you do, definitely, of course, comment about it below. It could help someone else. And this is all about helping each other win. Let's all win, you guys. And I think that's going to be it for today. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe. I have some cool videos coming up this year that I have planned. Um, many different types of things. So definitely be on the lookout for those. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. And I will see you guys next week for another video. See you later. Bye.